And this past year, we partnered with the advisory board to launch what we call Delta. It's um, developing exceptional leaders through action. And that's the program that we have 130 managers and directors in the organization participating in. It's really easy for us to ask people for stuff, but it's, we don't always go back and say thank you. sessions that we really want to be thinking about how do we make use of what we've just learned. So I was kind of thinking along that way too. We were very excited to have the Cook family donation and, and the advisory board expertise and one of the things I've come to learn and see is we have a huge amount of our own expertise. I'm impressed with how smart we are. <laughs> we are some smart, passionate, dedicated people. Sponsors that would um, invest their money and trust to potential leaders in, in, in Clovis, that, you know, this is something that is really, really beneficial. So think about the one thing that you want to do, one thing that you can kind of commit to. Well, I think it's essential for healthcare organizations to be healthy and have leaders that are creative going into the future um, because the traditional way in which we managed healthcare is not going to bring us into the future. So we kind of took the approach of thinking about how maybe poorly trained leaders or leaders who lack resources uh, and turnover and things like that can kind of trickle down and affect patient safety. We're all so busy all the time that it's not very often that we're able to all come together and share ideas and talk about what we're doing and get to know each other better. So I think it is a good opportunity to break down some walls between the different areas. Whether it be a physician to RN or a manager to supervisor or employee to employee, um, we believe that communication is the root to many of the challenges that we face. I think how this has become more valuable for me is just understanding the different thought process of people who are trained differently. So the team did as well as the best individual, and that's really great. Working on the project with people from other departments has really been beneficial in terms of reaching across departments within the hospital. We have to be interdisciplinary in order to survive, and we have to be working together to make um, our hospitals safe for our patients and to improve the quality. I kind of did the same thing as look at my options before I made a snap judgment. Because our backup plan was fairly sound. Delta's been a really great program so far, so I really appreciate the donors who came to the table and made this happen for a community. Um, being part of the first pilot group has been interesting because um, I think we're kind of paving the way for how things might be in the future. Blanketed, and then we could say stakeholder, sort of. Healthcare is a rapidly changing environment, and you need a certain uh, set of leaders to be able to take on the challenge. Think about the logistical problem, trying to ensure compliance. So in theory, this is a little bit of a story about some unclear goals. spent almost 15 minutes deciding why we should say or why we should go. You know, I learn something new every day, <laughs> being not a non-clinical person, but um, I, I love this type of arena and this environment where you've got clinicians and non-clinicians sitting together. Yeah, we talked about that's exactly what we did. What's Jennifer's <laughs> bitter. <laughs> Jennifer's bitter. Our leadership team, even though we work together all the time, we don't always get to see each other outside of that environment. And this really gives us an opportunity to get to know each other on a different level. Okay, we're going, this is what we need. Yeah. And boom, boom, boom. Then once we realized we were going to die right. at the back right. of the plant. You kind of get this um, whole teamwork and, you know, what you worry about is the same what somebody else worries about. I just feel so strong and empowered and it invigorates me because sometimes that light as a leader gets really, really dim. Just learn a bit more about each other and how they think and it's so much more effective than communicating in emails. And we work with so many leaders, we make so many decisions, we send emails, phone calls, but you never get to see and meet that person face to face, and I think that's the biggest benefit. It makes a huge difference, because I have a clear understanding that what we're doing, we're doing the right thing. 
we're so focused on doing our jobs, focusing on just producing what we need to, right? So that we sometimes forget, okay, what are the other things about leadership we should be focusing on? Well, to sit down and talk about things that cross lines of departments or across the organization, I think it will have a difference in terms of increasing patient care to the level we want it to be, which is stellar. Jerry Cook and the Leaders Up community share a vision of community being a thought leader in healthcare, both in this region, but also in the state of California. We just want to take this opportunity to say thank you, Jerry Cook, and to your family for the wonderful generosity. It has really supported us in being able to execute against our leadership development strategy. Here where the sun shines A place you can call 